what shakes me up about this object is the fact that it presents contradiction and paradox. First, it draws you and it, it seduces you. It's glitzy, it's glamorous. It's solid 22 karat gold. What really takes you is the craftsmanship of it. It's covered with a lace pattern and punctured by these mythical beasts such as unicorns, hare, griffins, uh, monkeys. There is this overlaying Mughal trellis pattern. It's got a tripod stand that is held up by winged monkeys. And then the whole thing is crowned by a bird. So the question becomes, what is this? Then you see that it houses something. This very extravagant object must hold something that's very precious. And uh, you open it, and it's this brown stone covered with gold, which is, in fact, an imitation of the gallstone of an animal, such as a goat or an antelope, mixed in with hair and other organic materials. Many people collected these. The Portuguese Jesuit priests in Goa collected them. They are called bezoar stones, which is based on the Persian word, which means antidote. These stones had a talismanic quality. They had medicinal properties. People felt like they would cure illnesses, ailments, and this is what made them so precious. Gradually, they became very rare, so the Jesuit priests started making their own versions of them with inorganic and organic materials. Works of art aren't what they seem always. The dissonance between the case, which is so elaborate and so extravagant, and what's inside, which is creepy, unexpected, that is, I think, the most amazing attribute of this work, is this paradox that it presents. It totally surprises you.